They say a photograph is worth a thousand words. We say it's worth a whole lot more than that. Dear National Guard, are you up to it? It's up to you. The 2010 H1 Unlimited Tour featured a battle royal for National High Point Honors that began over the 4th of July weekend in Madison, Indiana, and concluded with stopovers in Detroit, Tri Cities, Seattle, San Diego, and Doha, Qatar. A total of 12 teams, 13 holes, and 16 drivers saw competitive action during 2010. When the rooster tails subsided after the last race of the season at Doha, oh boy, Oberto Miss Madison U1 from Southern Indiana had first place in National High Points for the third year in a row. This entitled the Oberto team to carry the coveted U1 designation once again in 2011. The community-owned craft and driver Steve David had 9,444 accumulated points compared to 9,053 for the Elstrom family Spirit of Guitar U96 and driver Dave Vilwalk. David took first place at Madison, the Tri-Cities, and Seattle, while Vilwalk claimed victory at Detroit, San Diego, and Doha. Ted Porter's two primary boats, the U7 Graham Trucking with J. Michael Kelly, and the FormulaBoats.com U5 with Jeff Bernard placed third and fourth in national points in 2010, Rounding out the top five was Go Fast, Turn Left, U21, and Brian Perkins. The most frightening mishap of 2010 occurred at the APBA Gold Cup in Detroit, where Miss Peters and May, the U37, lost a skid pin and crashed into a seawall. The boat was completely destroyed. Driver J.W. Myers suffered a fractured left foot. Owners Billy and Jane Shoemaker leased a backup hull from Fred Leland and put relief driver John Zimmerman in the boat while Myers convalesced. The kickoff race for the 2010 H1 Unlimited Tour featured the 60th annual running of the Lucas Oil Indiana Governor's Cup on the Ohio River at Madison, Indiana. The community-owned Oh Boy Oberto Miss Madison took the top honor. This was the hometown favorite's first local victory since 2001 and the third since 1971. Oberto driver Steve David pulled away to a commanding lead on lap two of the winner-take-all final. J. Michael Kelly and Graham Trucking finished second, and third place went to J.W. Myers in Miss Peters and May. The 101st running of the Jarvis Restoration APBA Gold Cup saw Dave Vilwalk score his eighth victory in that famous series on the Detroit River. This tied him with the late Bill Muncy. Only the retired Chip Hanauer with 11 has more. Steve David stayed ahead in national high points and placed second in the Gold Cup for the fifth time since 2004. David and Oboy Oberto crossed the starting line first in the final heat in lane two. Bill Walk and Spirit of Guitar occupying lane one exited the first turn in first place and led all the way. Guitar and second place Oberto quickly left the rest of the field far behind. Bill Walk led David by a full rooster tail length after lap one and by three rooster tails after five laps. J.W. Myers, who had been injured the day before during preliminary heat 1B with Miss Peters and May, was back in the pit area and witnessed the final heat as a spectator. The third stop on the 2010 Unlimited Tour emerged as a repeat triumph for the Oh Boy Oberto Miss Madison team and driver Steve David. They captured their third straight Tri-Cities Lamb Weston Columbia Cup at Kennewick Pasco Richland Washington on the Columbia River. The Oberto maintained its lead in national points with three down 
and three events remaining on the 2010 H1 calendar. Dave Ilwak and Spirit of Qatar appeared to have the Tri-Cities race won, but were called for a driving infraction in the final turn of the final heat and had to run a penalty lap. This dropped them from first to fifth place in the corrected order of finish. Oh boy, Alberto finished well ahead of second place J. Michael Kelly and Graham Trucking in the Columbia Cup final heat. 12 unlimited teams attended the 45th annual Tri-Cities race. These included a third entry from the Ted Porter organization. The recently reactivated Formula Boats.com 2, the U57. This particular boat had last raced in 2008 as a backup hull. Taking the wheel of the U57 in the Tri-Cities in 2010 was veteran Mark Evans in his first unlimited appearance since 2003. Steve David and the old boy Oberto made it three wins in four races on the 2010 Unlimited Tour with a victory in the 50th annual Albert Lee Cup at Seafair. David and Oberto had triumphed in the 2000 Seattle race as well. From the standpoint of pure boat racing, the 2010 Albert Lee Cup final heat was arguably the best competitive heat of the year. J. Michael Kelly and Graham Trucking jumped the gun. Oberto and Spirit of Qatar with Dave Vilwak ran together down the first backstretch. Vilwak ran within the length of David's rooster tail the entire five laps. The outcome was in doubt right down to the last two seconds of the race with Alberto taking it at 143.2 miles per hour to Qatar's 142.7. It doesn't get much closer. Major League Boat Racing made a welcome return to Southern California in 2010 after a one-year hiatus. Thanks to a couple of new sponsors, the Air National Guard and Degree Men, and the efforts of H1 Chairman Sam Cole. The unlimited hydroplanes made their 43rd competitive appearance since 1964 on San Diego's Mission Bay. This time, it was Dave Vilwak's turn to garner the glory. Vilwak, Spirit of Qatar, qualified faster than Steve David's Oh Boy Oberto, and thus secured a better lane choice in heat confrontations between the two powerhouses. Spirit of Qatar led out of the first turn in the final heat and throughout. Oh Boy Oberto stayed within Spirit of Qatar's rooster tail length for two and a half laps before Qatar pulled away from Oberto on lap four. The rest of the field trailed far behind the two front runners. In winning the 2010 Air Guard Championship, Bill Watts' victory total in the unlimited class increased to 61 since 1992. This put Dave in a tie with Chip Hanauer and one short of the all-time record of 62 wins set by Bill Muncy, which had been on the books since 1981. With the North American phase of the 2010 H1 Unlimited Tour now concluded, three teams were in the hunt for the season high point championship, which would be decided across the Atlantic Ocean in Doha, Qatar. For only the second time in their history, the unlimited hydroplanes plied their spectacular trade in a location far removed from their traditional Western Hemisphere setting with a race on the Arabian Gulf in Doha, Qatar. Driver Dave Vilwak and Spirit of Qatar came from behind to win the second annual Oryx Cup UIM World Championship. And in doing so, tied legendary driver Bill Muncy's all-time career victory total of 62. Vilwak faced an uphill struggle in Doha when a spin out in the weekend's first heat cost him a chance at the 2010 National High Point Championship. It went instead to Steve David and the old boy Oberto for the third year in a row. The Spirit of Qatar crew had to replace the Lycoming turbine engine, a gearbox, the rear wings, and supports that were damaged in the incident. David likewise had a difficult weekend when, after winning three preliminary heats, he suffered a steering problem in the finale and had to slow down and settle for third overall to maintain control of the boat. Bill Walk started the final heat with an outside lane position. It took all of Dave's driving skill to chase down defending Oryx Cup champion J. Michael Kelly in the Graham trucking. Bill Walk caught up with Kelly on lap three and was never headed from then on. H1 Unlimited Chairman Sam Cole said, I want to congratulate Dave Hillwalk on reaching such a milestone. It's a fitting tribute to Bill Muncy that Dave should win a UIM championship outside of the United States. I want to thank His Excellency Sheikh Hassan bin Jabor Al Thani and the Qatar Marine Sports Federation 
for being such gracious hosts. We love racing in Doha and look forward to returning next year.